Hey, 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 this is Voyager. How's everyone doing? Hope everyone had a wonderful day today. Hope everyone's having a wonderful night. Whenever it is that you would hear me speaking, I pray that you will be blessed. There are some couple thoughts on my mind. I'm just going to share them here while I'm in this mode, while I'm in this mood. There are so many things that are surfacing in the church in the churches, in the season and time that is so vital and extremely important that you begin to pay attention to the significance of what is going on. I just recently seen something with Pastor Paula White praying and um, decreeing and declaring, chanting in lieu of President Donald Trump to win the election and so forth. But something very peculiar and strange happened and came out of her mouth. She began to call upon angels from Africa and South America. Okay, that's one thing. I saw another video today with this other pastor, Pastor Jack, I think his name was, I don't remember his last name, from out of California, was on his knees in his church and had his church and he was praying and saying, you know, one president is for Israel and one is not, one is for pro-life and one is for not, same thing, praying, you know, and trying to manipulate the will of Yah so that President Trump could win. Both these individuals are white individuals. Here's the third white pastor, Kenneth Copeland. And he's on stage laughing hysterically because Biden won the election. Listen, you need to understand this. God is not a Christian. Yeshua is not a Christian. You are the Christian, or so you call yourselves. So-called followers of Christ, Mashiach. But with these things surfacing the way they have been, If you know your word, your Bible, and if you really have a relationship with Yahshua beyond your local church, many do not have that, then you know that there is something very twisted and perverted in the minds of many of our Christian leaders today. You cannot manipulate Elohim into your scheme so that he can show favor to one political party or not. He is beyond those concepts. He is beyond those things. So you cannot force, manipulate, use your witchcraft, the witchcraft of your desire, lust, and will, your motive to force Yah to show favor to one political party or not. That's not how that works. Whosoever is doing the will of Elohim in heaven is the servant of Yahweh. Remember, there's a particular portion of the Bible scripture, I can't remember exactly where right now, where Yahweh began to call Nebuchadnezzar his servant. Why did he call him his servant? Why did he call him his servant? Because he was using him in that moment to punish Yisrael for her sins. Do you understand? He was destroyed after Yahweh was done with him. Do you see what I'm saying? So Yahweh's perspective is much broader and different than your human relationships and your emotions and your allegiances to this clique, that party, this house over there. 
this city, this state, this crew, this family, this bloodline. He is so beyond that. So you as a believer in the Messiah need to understand that. Get your priorities in order. Get yourself together spiritually, mentally, psychologically. Many of our churches today, I'm sorry, but they are cults, full fledged cults of Jesus Christ. Let me also say this. I begin to think about that pastor that's praying and saying, you know, um, one is for one, one is for Israel and one is for not, one is for pro-choice and one is for not. I begin to think to myself, at what point do you as a pastor realize that there is Israel in your very hometown and state, probably your church? At what point do you recognize that Israel is the African descendants of slaves that's been scattered across this world? At what point do you realize that you're looking at Israel, the oppressed people? At what point do you begin to pray for the oppressed, which is Israel? No, but you will pray for a president that would help your privilege. And I'm not a political man. At what point do you begin to pray and ask Yahweh to help the oppressed people in this nation? You know who they are, but you want to continue your privilege. That is your desire, and you want to force Yahweh into it. You want to slap Yahweh onto it. No, that's not how that works. You're not working for Yahweh. You're not speaking for Yahweh. You're not in his will. You're out of his will. He does not know you. You're a church, but you're not his called out ones. You think you are, but by your actions, your desires, and the manifestations and the fruits prove otherwise. Why didn't Paula White call angels from Germany? Why didn't she call angels from France, Russia, Finland, Switzerland? Why didn't she call European angels? Something to think about. Something to think about. I am so glad that the Lord took me up out of church. I'm so glad. Because now I can see so clear that it's not his church, that he's not in any of these churches. I can see so clear now. I can hear so clear. I can think so clear because I believe if I was still pretty much wrapped up in a church, a member of a church, I don't think I would be able to see and hear and know the true will of Yahshua like I do now. I wouldn't be able to know Yahshua for real like how I know him now. You see the God that these people are praying to, the Jesus Christ they think they're praying to. Well, I mean, let me not even say they think the Jesus Christ that they are praying to. That's not the Yahshua of the Bible. That Yahshua is a white man called Yahshua. And he is the God of the oppressed. I'm sorry, the God of the oppressor. That's the issue. Jesus Christ has bound people. Jesus Christ has enslaved people. Jesus Christ seeks to control people. That is the God of the oppressor, the white man called Jesus. But Yahshua, Hamashiach, the burnt bronze skin Messiah with the woolly hair and the booming voice, he was for the oppressed. He was for the poor. He was for the rejects. He looked like them. He came in the form of their flesh. And he is still the God of those same oppressed people. So you could not be praying to the true Yahshua. You couldn't be. Because the true Yahshua would be praying and going forth to liberate the oppressed. And obviously, white brother and white sister, you are not the oppressed in this world. So which Yahshua are you praying to? It could not be the true Yahshua. It could not be 
but it is none other than the white man, Jesus Christ. The lie they fed us and said that this is your God, serve him. And because you told us that, we subconsciously looked like at you, like you were his sons, when it really was the other way around. I look at Israel when I look in the mirror every morning, not some piece of real estate. So as these things are surfacing, these are the days Yahweh is saying that you will begin to see a level of psychosis rise up in these church leaders and churches that you have never even thought existed and that it was, was, was an underlying current. You shall now see it rise to the surface As it were, the grease in the frying pan, you shall begin to see it rise to the surface like the fat from the milk. You shall now see and be amazed. Come out of her, my children. Come out. Wake up. Wake up, my children, and run for your lives time is ticking it shall soon be too late for you wake up grab your family and run do not take anything with you wake up my children wake up and run for your lives for well, these wolves are surely getting ready to devour. They are surely getting ready to feast. Do not be one of the ones that I've been calling. I've been ringing your phone. I've been ringing your alarm bell. And you have ignored me. Wake up and flee these houses of slaughter. Pay attention. Come back home. Into your homes. Bring the altars back into your homes. Bring the worships back into the home. And leave these churches of horror. These slaughterhouses called churches. For these are the days you will see the madness come to the surface. These are the days you will see these men turn into their true form. They shall begin to morph into the spirit that lived inside them this whole time. Now you shall begin to see their demon take full control and come to the surface. And you will know that you're going to be devoured. Come out of her, my people. Be separate from them. For they are not my own. They are only saying, Lord, Lord. But I do not know them. You know who you are, my children. Come unto me. I am your great shepherd. Let me deliver you from those places. And set you up on a rock. Set you up in the mountain and hide you. While I go forth and destroy. While I go forth and do my judgment, do my works, while I send forth my angel to begin to judge and tally up. For this is the time and season where you will see these things come to the surface. You will see their inner demons now come out. And you shall know without a doubt that I am the Elohim that reveals all secrets. Dare you choose to remain in these houses of slaughter you shall surely be destroyed for i have warned you my mercy will not tarry long wake up wake up wake up my people